welcome and thank you for being here today. Um, I'm going to be showing you how I transformed this journal cover into a really cool piece of artwork. Uh, so I was having a hard time thinking what I wanted to do with this and it's been like this for a long time just left the cover and usually I I like to decorate my co cover so this is uh, a cool way to do it a very easy way to do it and I'm doing a nice heavy coat of gesso because then I'm gonna paint it and then I'm gonna put stickers on it and you'll see how much fun it is so I hope you will stay tuned and watch this video and I hope I can inspire you so I will see you inside so this is what I did. I scanned one of my paintings in to my computer and then I printed it out on these Avery stickers and it actually came out really good. Of course I always adjust everything, my settings on my computer to make sure that everything prints properly and all that but really the paper on this is pretty cool and the colors came out so nice and bright and you can do this with your own artwork or you can just create right on these Avery stickers and then just tear them off. Now I don't remember where I saw this but I did see this on YouTube. This is not my idea. I saw it and if I wish I could remember who was the artist who was doing this and it was a while back and I always and I bought the stickers and thought well one day I'm gonna do this and finally I'm doing it. It's these Avery 30 labels per sheet. These are the ones I got. I've had them a while because I have wanted to do this. And then I finally thought, well, you know what? I'm going to do it to my journal, my little red journal, um, and get that finally done. So I've got the coat of gesso, and then I'm going to paint it. Uh, I think I'm going to leave space between the stamps. I'm going to, I'll try. I'm going to try and do this neatly <laughs> we'll see how that goes but uh, well you know I can always go over it with a um, with the paint in the little tube thing you know the fine liner and and do that too to get the crevices because I don't know I don't know if I want it to actually look like that you know or just random I think I, I think I'm gonna go for the random look so you can't really tell what the picture is so I think that's what I'm gonna do so that's really cool and I'm so happy to finally be doing this. Okay, so I'm painting this black with the um, Americana black acrylic paint and making a mess. Because uh, you got to be careful because the little seams and everything where the thing bends, you don't want to get uh, just, I'm just a messy painter when I do stuff like this. But it finally comes out okay. I don't know. I don't, I, I'm not going to be able to get, oh, you know what? I better start here and then I have to cut, I guess. I think I'm going to leave a space. So I'm supposed to get this even, oh, goodness gracious, I can't see it. Let me stand up. I'm going to have to stand. To try to get that straight, huh? Oh, look, there's like a little piece here. Oh, well, that's good. That may help. Okay. No, I don't know if I want... Well, that kind of goes with that, huh? So I don't know. I don't know if I want to do that, though. Make it so it goes. You know what I mean? Like, the next piece. It's starting to look cool. I'm liking it. I think I'm going to coat it too when I'm done to give it like a more glossy look. My goodness. I don't know if I was supposed to measure this first or what to make sure that I get them. But I don't know. But that's not me. I'm such a bad exact person. I'm so out there. 
You know, I really am. I don't know how much I want to leave. See, that's a little bit more than that. Oh, it's okay. I'm going to go crazy. Just kind of have that. That one's crooked. Okay, well, I don't like crooked. Well, that's good that it comes right off, you know, because the the um, paint is acrylic, so get a chance to move things around, which I need, huh? So I don't know. Do I like that like that? I guess. I guess I do. So let's see. Now I go to the other side, and this is not going to fit. So do I do them this way? Let's see. Goodness. Let's see. It's going to look funky, huh? Yeah, I guess I can do them that way. Okay, I like that. I do like that. Cool. I wish I could remember who the artist was that I saw do this. I just cannot remember. Uh, she may have just designed right on the tags because I think you can do, you know, just right on the tag. You don't have to print anything on it you can just design right on them and then peel them off I mean I'm thinking that's part of what I remember I don't know well I don't know that kind of looks getting down to the end see because that's not gonna I think I'll have to cut that to make it the border even gosh I don't like working with lines and stuff and all that jazz. Well, we'll see how that goes. Well, that one came too close to the edge. So this one, maybe that's, no. You know, it's really the opt it's an optical illusion, but some of these with that white edge at the you know, it gives you a the border looks odd because of that. So, I don't want that to go off the edge there. So, but why is that going like that? See, that has a space there, so I must have this one. See, but then that looks, maybe that's it. This is the, the culprit here. This is over too far that way. Yeah, see, because it's making that one. I think. I don't know. Okay, well, I think that's good enough, huh? That looks really cool. That looks funky. It reminds me of like a cartoon, like a, not a cartoon, but a, what are the newspaper, the funnies? That's what it reminds me of. I guess it's a cartoon. Oh, look at that. It's coming where the flower is coming together there. Huh. How strange. Well, I am sure glad that I put down acrylic because the amount of times that I'm yeah, picking this up, I definitely have to do a coating over it.
Yeah, I love the colors. It really came out print. It really printed out nice on this Avery paper. But I think I want to do a little bit of a glossy, so put some varnish over it. See, because that's popping up. Because I keep pulling them, pulling them up, so the sticky is gonna get compromised by doing that. This one, oops, that's it, Rita. Don't mess that up. Came down. This one came down more, so I must have separated these. No, well, that's okay. You're not really going to see that because, um, it's going to be on the back. One's the back and one's the front, so I'll just cut a piece there. I'm going to have to do some cutting here. Around that. this color here. That is so cute! I love it! I really love it. Just wish this would have... I don't know, does that look like it's crooked? I don't know. When I'm looking at it, it looks like it's crooked. Maybe not. I don't know. So, I'm going to have to put a piece here, kind of cut it, oh, and you know me with cutting, I'm just, have to cut that, and then let me see here, you know what, this, this is really annoying me anyway, because I don't really like it, so, I'm taking it off. I don't really like it. Hmm. I think I'm going to put this here. some of that yellow there. Oops, that's a little bit crooked. Uh, I didn't go down enough, maybe? My hand is in the way of itself. Well, it's 
they're not even but oops but they still look cool so I'm just going to put a piece there and I'm going to cut that see now I'm looking and these look crooked to me Just put another piece down here. Maybe it won't seem so bad. Okay, I'm going to cut those and then I will be right back. Okay, so I'm going to do one side at a time and I am going to varnish this. So I'm going to use this um, Americana satin varnish. I've used it before. I don't remember on what, but I did because it looks like I did. So I must have used it. I don't remember. It's got a funny smell. Um, where are my little... Here they are. I'm going to use a little sponge brush. Oops. Yeah, because of me just pulling them up so many times it just you know the sticky they're not that sticky as it is so which is good because you know me messing around with them whoopsie I guess you could use ah uh, the uh, Mod Podge too well I better like stay with the watch what I'm doing here and I'm gonna lift them And that'll be good to have the varnish on them so this way, you know, if you do mess something up, you can always wipe it off, hopefully, you know. And me, Missy, messy, messy. Whoops. Okay, I'll have to leave it alone. Just let that dry. I'm going to let that coat dry, and then I'll do another coat, and then I'm going to do the other side. And right, and then I will show you it when it's coated. Oh, you know what? When I'm standing, sorry, the light get I block out the light. I don't know why, but um, well, you know, I think this was so fun. Look how nice it is. It's it's uh, I have to do this again because you know what I did here? I I put some matte medium on it first, so this would stick down better. This one just has the uh, clear varnish and it has a better shine so um, oopsie but these still come up so you got to be real careful I probably if I was going to do this again I would glue these down because these stickers don't stay down or maybe put some tape in between you know like tape them with regular tape or something or maybe just put tape over the whole thing you know like a clear packing tape I don't know but I'm going to keep varnishing this until I have a, a really heavy coat on here so this way because you see it just lifts a little bit so I'm just going to keep pouring on varnish and just as it dries but I just wanted to show you you know how it came out I think it's so cool and you know you could customize it with a name going across or I don't know I just think it's cool and I'm going to make a new tie for it because I took this one off so I'm going to have one that just I'm just going to get one that I can just just put over it a rubber band kind of a, a tie thing you know I don't need this this was so annoying so I will probably make up something uh, fancier for it and this is just driving me nuts that it doesn't you know that it keeps popping up so we'll see I'm gonna see how many coats it's gonna take but the colors look at the colors I mean it just really made the color stand out on everything on here so I'm gonna put more of this I'm gonna just keep putting it on and putting it on um, until I get enough on here because spraying it on is not gonna do it because I have spray sealer too but it's just not gonna do it so it it's just gotta gotta kinda coat it on if I had more of that um, what is that Mod Podge magic dimensional magic that probably would uh, but I don't have any left of that so I gotta get some more but this see that's that's what drives me nuts the stuff that sticks up you put so much on here and it still sticks up so 
definitely I gotta you know remember to the next time put some maybe some even some of that glue you know on the stick maybe that would be something and I'm sure it's because I have the acrylic paint down on the bottom of this. You know, it's great that you can pull them off and on, but then they're not going to stick as well. So maybe you don't want to put acrylic paint underneath. Maybe you want to put gesso or something. Maybe it'd stick better with something like that than more than something that's slick, like the acrylic paint. So I don't know. I'm going to play with it a while, and I'm going to do a couple of others and see how they work out. And then I will show you. Okay, I just want to show you, I printed these out on sticker paper, and I know I printed them large. You may not want them this large, but I thought it would be good for me to, since I'm such a terrible cutter, so I may have to pull this close to me, and I apologize if I'm not in the screen, but I am trying to do this. Now, if I had a puncher, you know, print them out the size of a square puncher, then that would be better. But I don't have, I don't, you know, what? I, I may have a square puncher. How silly, Rita. I may. I know I have circles, but, you know, for some reason I remember getting a square one. Okay. That's my cutting. Okay, so let's see how these work. So, they make it look very easy when you do this you know when you watch the video so what is I guess it, it isn't hard okay that's not bad for me that's pretty easy okay so ooh, yeah. let me show you the paper okay it's this okay inkjet creative media um, now I watched a video on this and the girl she was making stamps uh, stickers sorry and um, she was using this and she was saying how great this paper is and it look how beautiful the color came out on that absolutely beautiful so you know, what I wanted to say was I will make these smaller and use them as happy mail postage stamps you know when you're making an envelope and you're decorating it you're not actually I wouldn't actually mail it with that stamp you know or maybe you know you could stick it on the envelope but I thought wouldn't that be cool to make happy mail stamps envelopes and then put these stamps on there so that's what I'm thinking so guys who's ever supposed to be getting happy mail from me is going to be getting stamps so um, on your whatever because you know I like to decorate the the envelope so and you can use your jelly prints for your envelopes and you're making your own envelopes and then put your stickers on it. I mean I think these are so cool and I love this my the gypsy tribe one I am definitely going to be using that on a lot of things, so um, expect to see that a lot. So that's great. It worked good. I just wanted to make sure that everything worked. That was easy peasy. I didn't know if it had, you know, those cuts in the back or not. Or, but the girl did it on t on on the video, and it just, you know, was so easy. She just pulled just like that. So I'm all for easy stuff. I don't want to be taken too long to do things because I got a lot of things to do on my mind and I want to get them done so this was one of them and it comes this one I got 20 sheets and it was $21 on um, Amazon they also have the 40 sheets I found it the cheapest on Amazon if you actually go to this company PBD it's more expensive a little bit more but and then you have to pay for shipping Amazon I have prime so it worked out better you know what I don't have printed and I wanted to print them is the um, season of the witch ones which are so cool so I'm gonna print those and I'm gonna actually print them on this paper because I want to make they're the gears they're really cool I kind of put the witch witchy owl and stuff with the gears because I like the gears too besides you know the stamps and all that stuff so let's see how that one prints and I'll be right back
Well, here's my gears, and they're so cute. I've got peace signs in them. I've got a little goddess sun in them. I've got feathers. I've got the little witch owl in there. So they're really cool. And now this is the size that they are, and you can shrink them. But I made them larger, so this way, if I would have made them smaller, and then you tried to make them larger, sometimes you compromise the look, the color doesn't, you know, things when you expand them don't look as nice. So these are already large, so they'll print out like you see them here, and then you can make them smaller. So I did it that way, and for what I'm going to use them for right now, I needed them this large anyway, and it's easier for me to show you them larger so you can actually see the pictures in them. But yes, you can resize these and do what you want with them. Here I'm just showing you I had put two sets on one sheet. I shrunk them down and made them smaller so I can use them in my planner. And uh, you can do that. You can just, you know, resize them and make them the size that you want and then print them out on the sticker sheet or not. Just use um, any kind of glue to glue them on. You don't have to use the sticker sheet if you don't want to purchase that. That's just as good. And then just use them in your planner. And here I have this little journal. It's so cute, but I never cared for the flower in, on it. So I'm going to redo this one and add some of my stickers to it and paint it and make it look really cool. So this is cool. This is paper I got in Happy Mail. And I think it looks really cool. It's that, I forget what you call that paper, mulberry or something like that. So this is the one that I printed out on the stickers for this one. Um, I thought I was going to do with smaller stickers. And then I was going to make these smaller. But then I thought, no, you know what? I really want to see the owls and stuff. I love them. So, um... That's what I'm going to do to this one. I started doing some of my jars and stuff with some of the stickers. This one says magical, and I love gold. So uh, this one says ins inspire. And this one says thankfulness, which I do have a lot of thankfulness to all of you and all my friends and family and love. And I believe wholeheartedly in love. So I'm going to start doing that, you know, putting stickers on different things and it makes me happy. So, uh, but this one, this is so cool. I love the owl. So I took, this is the owl from that picture that I made and I made it into like a stamp, sticker stamp. And um, these are all some of my little flowers, my crazy little flowers that I've made. And of course, my arrows that I love. So I'm going to see, I'm going to cut and, I'm, and you know what? I actually even cut that flower. Look how small that flower is. And I cut it out. So I'm getting better. Getting more patience with cutting. So I'm going to start cutting these out and then see how they look on here. And what I'm going to do is I always put them, place them first and see how they look. Then if they don't look good, then I'll make them smaller. You know, I'll resize them on the computer and print them out smaller. But otherwise, I'd like to use this size. So we'll see how that okay, looks. Okay, so I thought I would show you what I've done so far. Uh, this is one of my mixed media journals that um, it's like a soft cover. It had that brownish cover top and I painted it black and then I put some of the bigger pieces up here because I really like the big ones so I can see them really well. I'm going to put the little versions of these, you know, make the smaller ones, which I did. I made, I made smaller versions so that I could um, put them in my journals and stuff so and I did print them out on the sticker paper so uh, I'll use that for journals because I like to fancy up my little journals and so this is Gypsy Tribe peace love thankfulness uh, hippies forever peace and love that one too boho gypsy love and kisses and hugs and all that so it's nice it's nice to pick this up and you know, this one will have this theme, and then I did some little doodling in um, the little markers, the um, Uniposca markers, and then I also used some of the um, Liquitex paint markers. I did that, and then this one, this, oops, what is on that? This one has 
the other little owls on there and some of my little crazy flowers and then the witch one magical back here and the little flowers that went with this one and then I doodled on that too so I think they look really cute and unique for me so and then this one I can uh, it's just all um, um, you know just paper like that that I write in so and I can use my little stickers in there I can make them even smaller I mean you can make them any size you want and then this one is the read the first one we did and I love this one too but this was a lot of fun I hope you enjoyed this I hope I inspired you I'd love to see if you do anything like this or if you've done it before let me know I'd love to go and see your videos too I hope you enjoyed this and if you're interested in purchasing my sheets I will have the listing uh, in my Etsy shop for all of them and then also the link will be below and at the end of this video there is a little link that'll take you right to my Etsy shop but remember you can do the ones especially the ones with the Avery labels you can use your own artwork or you can art right on the labels but you can scan your artwork any journal pages whatever and then print them out on the Avery labels. Make sure you read the directions and when you're going to print your beautiful colors, make sure that when your setting comes up in your computer, you always sync your computer with your printer. So the printer knows to take that color and use it. And with this paper uh, that the Avery comes with and then the other paper, the sticker paper, it's fantastic paper. So the colors should come out magnificent. And please don't forget to give me a thumbs up and subscribe and leave me a comment. I love you guys. I will see you next time. Bye-bye.